in some ways, I think it's quite disappointing seeing these bars because the gold is an exciting element. It has interesting chemistry and it's just sitting here doing nothing. It's enormously impressive, but it's a bit sad, rather like a mausoleum where the, the dead gold is sitting waiting for people to remember it. It could be doing exciting reactions and so on. We're in the vault, the bullion vault of the Bank of England. I've never seen so much gold. In fact, I've never seen so much of any element. So we're standing here and each shelf here has got a ton of gold, which is worth 35 million pounds at today's price. Tomorrow it might be worth even more. It's very secure. We've been through a whole series of security checks. No money is allowed here to make sure we don't take anything out. And so we're both really excited to be here. So the camera may be shaking with Brady's excitement. I've never seen large lumps of gold and to see it all round is extraordinary. One's first reaction is that it can't possibly be real because normally you don't see such things. It looks like chocolates in the duty free at the airport or something like that. But these really are solid gold bars and it's quite extraordinary. There isn't any smell because metals don't smell and it's very quiet because of the thick walls and to keep it secure. The weather's been very cold recently and I was ready to be shivering, but it's nice and warm. But I suppose gold colour also gives you a feeling of warmth, so it may be partly psychological. The reason why the bank has got this store is because not only the Bank of England, but other central banks like to keep some of their money reserves in gold because the price of gold is very stable or the value of gold compared to the value of currencies which can go up and down and so every country has a certain proportion of its reserves in gold and if you look at the statistics the UK at the moment has about 310 tons of gold in its reserves but there's much more gold here than that because it belongs to all sorts of people, not just to the Bank of England. This vault is part of a complex of different rooms. I haven't seen the other rooms. But all together, if you look at the bank's annual report, it's worth £197 billion. Pounds. That is £197,000 million. Pounds. And that's quite a serious sum of money. The people buy and sell the gold, and each block of gold has its own number, like your car has a registration number, and when people buy and, and trade the gold, they don't actually take the bar home, but just that number is transferred from the seller's account to the buyer's account, and the gold just sits here quietly. Apparently the oldest bar of gold here has been here since 1916, that's the First World War, nearly a hundred years ago. But the beauty of gold as a chemical element is that it's very unreactive. So it looks just the same now as it did in 1916. It hasn't tarnished, it hasn't got oxide layers on the surface, it hasn't started creeping, changing its shape and so on. So come over here because they've given me two bars that we can look at. So we've got two different bars of gold, which are both the so-called London Good Delivery Bars, which means that their weight is in a certain limit range. And in fact, each of them has its precise weight put on them in a rather strange unit called a troy ounce. So this one is 399.100. This one was made in Australia. And this one apparently came from Switzerland and is slightly heavier, 400.075. I must say this one looks much nicer, it's polished more and this one looks a bit like a loaf of bread, but it's rather a miserable loaf of bread, but pretty fantastic lump of gold. Now one of the things you know about gold is that it's really heavy, so I'm going to see whether I can actually lift this with one hand, and I can sort of lift it, but not easily. Two hands is quite easy. So this weighs, each of these in more understandable units, weighs something like 12.4 kilos or 28 pounds. 
So for those of you who use imperial units, that's two stone. Each of these is worth about £435,000. You could buy two quite nice houses for a block like this, or for a whole shelf of these, which contains a ton, you could buy 137 of the upmarket Rolls-Royce cars. So take your choice. These blocks are a bit like bricks. And if you took all the gold that had ever been mined and put them together like a construction kit to make a big block, you would end up with a block that was 20 meters cubed, that's 60 feet on each side, which would easily fit, for example, under the legs of the Eiffel Tower. Wouldn't look all that big just as a building on the street. And that's all the gold there ever has been. I did a little calculation on the way here that I weigh about the same as six of these bars of gold, which means that if I were worth my weight in gold, I'd be worth a bit over two and a half million pounds. I was a bit disappointed, thought I might be worth more. Notice this girl. Notice. Okay, Shalom, this is GMS Holland Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Kakadash, the bonds to the elder apostle of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there that is spreading his word, and sincerely in the true follow of the four corners of the earth. Okay, so I just uh, checked out this video posted by uh, the brother Yashawan. Okay, and um, <clears throat> yeah, you saw it, man. The gold, man, all stacked up, piled up, catching dust. This is what Esau, the so called white man, does with the gold that comes from the earth but mainly as stole from us man because prior to their rulership prior to their kingdom this gold was in our possession man okay through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. throughout the scriptures you can read about you know the, the 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 kings of the land invading the land of Jerusalem or the land of Israel and taking out all the gold man okay the house of the Heavenly Father had a treasury, okay, where all the gold and, 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 and silver would be stored. Okay. Then, of course, King Solomon, King David had, had heaps of gold, man. Okay, they had a lot of gold, that had a lot of silver, gemstones. And then, in 70 AD, you had something called, um, you know, the, uh, the, um, the raid on Jerusalem. Okay, by Vespasian, Titus, and uh, the Michigan. Okay, and they, uh, like it says in the book of uh, Babylon, till the book till they, they put an end to the Jewish state. You know, and what they did was they raided Jerusalem, man. They took out all the gold. They took out the gold even out of the, the house of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, the temple. They raided that even. So these devils took out a lot of gold, man, that was, that belonged to the children of Israel. And even though you know, during the Greek Empire, they took it from the Medio Persian Empire. The Medio Persian Empire also took it from us. So this, this, this gold and this silver, you know, got got tossed to, uh, you know, to and fro. But guess what? In the Medio Empire, Medio Persian Empire, this gold was being used. In the Babylon Babylonian Empire, the gold was being used. In our kingdom, the gold was being used. Okay, but in their kingdom, they didn't do shit with it. Okay, they, they just put it on shelves and if you watched closely you could see that there was a 666 on the gold bar man there's a 666 on the gold bar now there's also a Rothschild gold coin that you can buy it also has 666 on it okay so that already shows you what is going on man that already shows you what what's happening okay like it says in Revelation chapter 13 you know the number is the number of a man. This is his his um, his um, uh, uh, signature, man. Six six six. That's his signature, and he puts it on everything. Products, okay. Your clothing, your food, <clears throat> and also this RFID chip, which is going to be implemented into the world soon, man. You already see people having it, taking it voluntarily, but soon it's going to be mandatory, man. Okay, so I wanna read two scriptures concerning this which is um, Job chapter 27 verse 16 <clears throat> though he heap up silver as the dust 
and prepare raiment as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. Yeah, man, and why is that? Because they really think that this gold one at one point is going to be useful for them. Like you, you heard the man say, he said, when you buy a brick of this gold, you only receive the number on your account. You only receive the number that is upon the brick of gold on your account and the gold stays right there. That shows you it's, it's still not really yours, man. It's still not really yours. That's why Maduro, the, 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 um, the ruler of, um, of Venezuela, he wanted his gold back. They're like, nah, man, you ain't getting your gold back. Huh? Why am I not getting my gold back? Because they are the devil. They are the devil, man. What did you think? You're going to get your gold back, man? It's in their fault, man. They own it. You just received the number and had the, 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 um, uh, the idea that it was actually yours, but it's not. Okay? This is the devil, man. But guess what? People be storing them bricks of gold because you said you heard that um, they said um, it's not only of England it's, but it's of uh, multiple places but actually it is of England because the moment that everything crashes and ec economic collapse occurs that gold is still gonna be sitting there man. and then the man of the Lord you know the elect the angels the Lord Jehovah Shai is gonna take it out man that's what's just going to happen. That gold is going to be taken out, man. All the gold of the earth is going to come back to the possession of the man of the Lord. So, yeah, Salakia, they, they be storing up uh, their gold like it's going to help them in the, in the future. But guess what? Guess what? Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. But righteousness deliver it from death. That gold ain't going to save them, man. That gold is just going to keep sitting there, catching dust, until the man of the Lord kick in the door, and we go, you know, take it for, to prepare the kingdom with, man. Like the scripture says, the kingdom is going to be made of pure gold, man. In the book of Revelation. Let me see. <clears throat> Revelation. Chapter 21, verse 18. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. Okay? Revelation 21 and 21. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. So the kingdom is going to be made out of gemstones and pure gold, man. Now, that's going to be beautiful, man. Gemstones and pure gold. Okay, the wall's going to be of jasper, which jasper is really that stone that uh, uh, represents Benjamin. Okay, the jasper stone, which jasper comes in all kinds of colors, man. You have all kinds of jasper stones, man. You have you even have one uh, jasper stone uh, um, uh, that is uh, uh, speckled, man. You know, speckled. Then you have uh, the red one, okay? You, you have the African jasper. You have so many jasper stones, man. And it's beautiful, man. So, uh, Revelation 21 and 21. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every, one, every several gate was one pearl. And the streets of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. So, all that gold is going to be made of use, man. It's going to be put to use. Okay, unlike these devils, man. That's why you can see they, they ain't got the salt, man. We are the children of light. We are the salt of the earth. We're going to put that gold in use, man. Like, if you already read the scriptures, <laughs> that's Jake, man. Decking the, the, the city with gold and pearls. But actually, is is the um, architecture of the Heavenly Father. Okay, this is the Heavenly Father, his word. This is how the Heavenly Father wants the kingdom to look like, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai wants it like that. Okay, the Lord Yahushai is heir of all things. So, this is his inspiration, man. And he knows why he, he wants it like this. Because these, these gemstones, I, I did many videos on it, reflect all kinds of light, man. These gemstones reflect all kinds of light. So, 
last scripture because I'm uh, pulling up on on the job. Job, uh, what is it, 22? Job 22. Uh, Slack, you bear with me for a moment. Um, Twenty, like Job chapter twenty. So it says, Job chapter twenty, verse fifteen. He had swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. The most I shall cast it out of his belly. So the riches that he has right now, is all gonna going to be vomited up, man. He's all gonna vomit those riches up. He's not gonna hold it, okay? He's gonna give it unto the men, unto whom whom them belong, man. Okay, these these devils, these elites, they will see. <clears throat> they will see their uh, vaults getting raided, man. They're gonna see it with their own eyes. Their vaults is going to be raided, man, by by angelic forces. Okay, men with spiritual power, a hey, strength beyond measure, man. That's that's what's gonna happen, man. These 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 golden bricks is gonna be melted and put to use, man. It's going to be more, even more purified than what it already is, man. Like the man said, this one doesn't really look that beautiful. Yeah, man, we're going to make it even more beautiful, man. We're going to purify it even more, okay? Because the glory of the kingdom is going to be, you know, sh shined over it, man. Call Allah, Yah, Basham, Yah, Shai. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yah, Basham, Yah, Shai, Basham, Kakadash. Shalom to the elect.